this guy is the one that inspired this whole program, and he's been instrumental in doing this. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, sorry, this, bear with me. This is my first time in front of a crowd. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on TV, um, CNN, and Cairo, and everyone, but this is the first time in the crowd that's also not at work. So bear with me. I might be a little nervous. Um, oh, don't be nervous. So you want me to talk about just uh, yeah. campaign? Okay, so I can tell you uh, how I was kind of inspired and how I started. Um, if you haven't heard already, well, kind of there's a lot of uh, CNN articles out there regarding the lunch shaming crisis in America, how kids are getting lunch uh, tossed out from the tray, perfectly good food being tossed because they don't have any money or they have they owe money, and some kids are literally labeled on the arms, I owe money, I need money, a red dollar sign. They're being made to do chores, like cleaning lunch tables in front of their peers. Some schools may just outright deny food for these children. Um, some schools may give, like in the state of Washington, they can't deny food, so they give them an alternate meal, like a cold cheese sandwich, like you said, and, um, or fruit and milk. That's not enough for these kids to eat. So just hearing that, being a father of three, my I have an oldest son, he's uh, almost nine, he's in the third grade, I kind of thought of them thinking, if this is my child being denied of food in school, I mean, I'll be one very angry parent. So I decided to take action and kind of see, uh, we live in Seattle, Washington, so Seattle Public School District um, is where we go to, and decided to look at the school district, um, actually the school lunch debt at my son's school, see what their elementary amount was. I called the school, talked to the lunch person, it was about $97.10. And then I said, let's uh, do a GoFundMe page because there's two parents that I read in that CNN article that did GoFundMe pages for Texas and uh, it was very successful. So I was inspired by those parents. I was also inspired by uh, Ashley C. Ford, her tweet back in December. She's a writer from New York saying that, hey, if you wanna do something generous this uh, holiday, uh, consider donating or paying off lunch debts in uh, your school districts. So I did that for my son's school and donations start coming in for $97.10 and I said to my wife, why not let's tackle the bigger debt in the school district? And not knowing how much it was going to be, I called and they let me know it was about twenty dollars to $21,000 for the Seattle School District. So I was like, wow, so let me update it. I don't know if it's gonna uh, keep up and people will start donating. Shared it with the community Facebook groups in my neighborhood, fam friends and family. Then local media started picking up on it. Uh, one media interview to another one. It started rolling in. In four or five days, $21,000 were raised uh, by the community, uh, friends, and then uh, I launched Tacoma because of the success of Seattle. I launched uh, Spokane, <coughs> Renton as well. We've hit Spokane uh, over the weekend. We did Tacoma last weekend, but we're still raising more funds to hit for the excess. Uh, we're doing the excess funds for future lunch debts. Um, and then we also were waiting for Renton to hit goal. We're almost halfway there. So Seattle, Spokane, and Tacoma have been hit goals. Those goals have been hit. So those are the top three largest. <laughs> those are the three largest school districts in the state of Washington. So we're gonna take care of our kids because no kids should be denied of any food or an alternate meal. I'm fighting hard to uh, end this lunch shaming and uh, lunch debt once and for all. I'm not stopping until we find this uh, permanent solution. I said this in uh, NPR uh, interviews and uh, CNN. We're going to find a solution. It's going to take years. Uh, we're going to find it, but we're going to start locally, and I'm very happy to be here to uh, talk about it, to have Tacoma uh, get even more funds uh, thanks to ACU. And, you know, leading to this is just uh, funny because it's, it's, the, it's the movement is growing, and you've probably seen um, some singer named John Legend um, <laughs> donated to Seattle campaign, and it was a long story. He found out because he's John Stevens, that's his birth name, donated, and just with me doing my Google searching, uh, I ended up seeing the concert uh, last weekend, uh, meeting him in person. You, the picture's probably everywhere on the internet now. So, very nice man, but uh, you know, this campaign is just being heard uh, nationwide. The movement is strong, hearing about other school districts in the nation being paid off, people being inspired. Like You've probably all heard a man in uh, Portland uh, battling cancer started a, a campaign for the Portland School District um, because he heard about our campaign in Seattle and Tacoma. He was inspired and that was being covered down there. So they're almost, uh, I'm not sure if they hit goal yet. I know last time I checked they were about 15,000 out of 27,000 or so. so um, it's, it's going, the movement's going strong. And um, I know once these lunch jets are paid off, 
they're gonna start again. So that's why it was very, it's very, very good to, I mean, I'm fighting hard to find a permanent solution. I'm not just gonna say, hey, we're gonna stop at Tacoma, we're gonna stop in Seattle after it's done and just leave it because it's the issue is not solved. So I'm either gonna go talk to lawmakers, talk to school districts, we're gonna find a solution and I'm not gonna stop, but um, thank you for having me. So the the goal is to get it to thirty, and so that's where we're oh, gonna okay. that's where we're gonna get it today. We're at twenty two thousand two sixty five. Well, uh, I directed David today to make a five thousand dollar contribution on behalf of the ACU. <laughs> Are we doing it right now? She is. Did you do it? She's done. It's done. So can you refresh that? Let's see. It's interesting how if you just pay attention, you're just a little conscious of the, all the things that are happening in our society where you can pick and choose and, and actually be inspired by somebody who just says, this isn't right. And at ACU, we, we've always looking for, we're always looking for just ways to help our community. There are the multitude of fundraisers, whether it's the, the golf course at the end of the year where we provide food and gifts to soldiers, just a number of things. But this one just kind of inspired me a little bit because I'm thinking about the little kid who can't have enough money to have a sandwich. And so this guy is taking it to the next level. Let's give this guy a round of applause.